good evening guys this is um, usmle videos welcome to usmlevideos.net i encourage you to visit my website at uh, www.usmlevideos.net where you can browse through hundreds of videos that help you remember some of the most important points you come across usmle examination tonight i want to give you a few thoughts on Samogi effect and the dawn phenomenon. This is a, a very common problem that we come across in patients with uh, diabetes. In fact, it is uh, a very difficult thing to treat. First, let us see what are the differences between Samogi effect and the dawn phenomenon. Later, let us see how to remember that as we take USMLA examination. Now you, now you see we give insulin at bedtime or dinner time and the strategy is to control pre-breakfast hyperglycemia with a dinner or bedtime insulin doses. That is the strategy. But two things come as obstacles in that path. That is Somogi effect and a dawn phenomenon. First, the Somogi effect. It is due to the counter regulation regulatory hormones that work in the morning. Imagine you gave so much insulin to the patient before he went to bed. And around 3 o'clock his blood glucose level falls. So the counter-regulatory hormones like uh, glucagon, cortisol, growth hormone, they start to act and they produce hyperglycemia. So when the patient wakes up and uh, tests his blood glucose level at 8 o'clock in the morning, there is pre-breakfast hyperglycemia. Why did this happen? Because there was so much insulin was given the previous night. So the clue is, Somogi is so much. Somogi was caused by so much insulin previous night. So the treatment is reduce the insulin dose the previous night. That is the treatment. So, Somogi is due to so much insulin the previous night. That is the clue to remember this. Now, let us talk about dawn phenomenon. Dawn phenomenon is you gave some insulin to the patient the previous night, but by the morning like 3 o'clock is no longer effective and that is the time for hormones like growth hormone to start acting and as growth hormone starts acting in that environment there is glucose uh, sorry there is less sensitivity to insulin in that circumstance and as a result, the body makes so much glucose. By the time at 8 o'clock, again there is hyperglycemia. So both Somogi effect and dawn phenomenon are due to action of hormones. Both result in pre-breakfast hyperglycemia. Now the treatment differs. Remember what I told you earlier, Somogi is due to so much insulin, so the treatment is reduce the insulin, decrease its amount, decrease its dose, and the dawn phenomenon is down insulin, that means less insulin. So dawn phenomenon is due to down insulin, that is less insulin. So the treatment is increase insulin the previous night. So I think I made it quite clear to you guys. Somogi and girls, sorry. 
so gamma samagi effect is due to so much insulin the previous night so reduce the insulin you gave the previous night on the other hand dawn phenomenon is due to down insulin that is less insulin so the treatment is increase insulin dose the previous night and if you have some other important points on samagi effect or dawn phenomenon please feel free to post them on uh, the blog and our uh, and uh, visit usmle videos.net for more videos thank you very much good night